<laughs> All right, what's up, everybody? It's Mods Cage Radio. We're out here in Lemoore, California. Lemoore. All right. And who am I looking at right now? You're looking at Sergio Quinones, man. Here from Lemoore, California. 145 pounders. All right, what's Sergio, up? my main man. You've been on the show before, but now I bring the camera out. I hit the uh, the scene, and today I'm in Lemoore. We're in your apartment. We're having a little uh, liquid refreshment. Some Co 45s. How we do, do, man? We gotta keep it gangster in here. The That's finest, only top notch beer, fifty cents a can. <laughs> That's what's up. All right, <laughs> all right. Now, Sergio, the last time we saw you, you were about to go into battle with uh, Cortez. Bro, that was an absolute fucking war. The best fight of the year. I don't care what anybody says. That's Tell us up. a little bit about that. Man, you know, I went in there. I knew, you know what I mean? We were going to just go in there fuck each other up. It got crazy. I don't know how the fuck I lost a decision, a split decision. I think all the judges had a little bit too many of these that night. You know what I mean? But that's another subject because I'm looking to fight him in the future again and just avenge that stupid loss. But whatever, man. It was a good fight. <laughs> I can't trip about it. <laughs> yeah, it was an absolutely awesome fight. Now, um, you haven't fought since then. You've been nope. uh, doing whatever it is that you're doing. But I got a call, and they said that you're fighting a cat uh, named Chris Sanchez. Yeah. Uh, what do you know about him? Man, I just got this call about like two days ago, too. I didn't even know what the fuck. They just sent me a text, and we're like, hey, you're fighting this dude, Chris Sanchez, from Hanford, 145. All I know about him, he's like 2-0, and oh. he's like a boxer or some kind of karate kid, I guess. You know, I don't give a fuck. I already fucked up one dude from Hanford that was supposed to be a phenomenal boxer slash street fighter. I fucking tore his fucking face off. And that's what I'm going to do to this kid, too. Thinks he's going to come hard at me. For there ain't no one hard coming out of Hanford, dude. So whatever. Okay. After so, the fight. So, uh, it goes down July 16th, the half boxing, half MMA card. Where are you training right now? What are you doing? Damn, man. <laughs> Dream Coke 45. But for real, man, I, I'm, still, I'm still in the gym, you know what I mean? I'm still rolling whenever I can, you know, I'm still kickboxing, doing whatever, dude. Rolling, doing whatever, man. I'm still drinking because I don't give a fuck, you know what I mean? This fool ain't no one. But I'll be, <clears throat> I'll be ready come time to fight. Just you better know that for sure. I'll be ready for him. Okay, what do you uh, what what are you gonna do different? Nothing. So this kid, fuck, I'm gonna do whatever fuck I want to him. He thinks he's a fucking boxer, dude, and he wants to fucking box me. I'll kickbox with him, dude. I'll show him what's up, dude. I'm fucking. I know how to kickbox too. I just prefer to use my wrestling. If he, like, if he wants to give me an opening, I'm gonna fucking slam him on the back of his head and knock him out that way. Fuck in the fight that way. Fuck it. <laughs> It don't matter, dude, or I'll fucking sub him any way I want. I know I'll just have my way with this kid. I don't give a fuck. Okay, so we're about, what, a month out from the fight? Is this what we're going to do? We're going to just drink some beers up till fight time? or? Oh, uh, uh, no, not even, dude. Maybe okay. like two days before I'll stop or something like that, you know what I mean? But <laughs> not till fight night. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't want to tell my game plan, but I'll be ready, dude. Just You better come with some muscle on you or something, dude. Don't be coming all weak sauce or... <laughs> I don't like to beat up scrubs, <laughs> but right. I'll do it. Nick and Marty. All right, now you're going to be in the uh, in the ring. This is not going to be a cage. Uh, have you fought in a cage? Yeah, I fought in a cage a couple times. My first fight was actually in a cage. That's where I beat up that other Hanford dude that thought he was fucking Mr. T and shit, man. But the ring's cool too, you know what I mean? Whatever. It don't matter. We're fighting on fucking street fucking backyard dude i'll find right here in my fucking front lawn dude in front of all my neighbors just so my neighbors know what's up too <laughs> right on now uh, the ring's a little bit of different some of the fighters like it some of them don't some prefer the cage you don't carry the way i don't carry the way really fuck as long as you give us some fucking uh space to fight really my favorite place to fight really though is the street so if this guy really wants to like talk shit and get personal you know what i mean we can meet up somewhere in between Hanford and Lamar, we can meet up in Armona. Shit, I went to school in Armona. That's my hometown too. We we'll meet up there and throw down, dude. I don't give a fuck. Behind Parkview Elementary, by the Big Rock, be there. Did you uh, <laughs> did you do a lot of uh, a lot of fighting growing up, Sergio? You you seem like that kind of cat. Yeah, dude. I fucking it's just fun. You know what I mean? It's I, it's a cool way to. You know, you fight someone and you end the beef, except for all the fucking gangsters that will fight you and then they'll still think they're fucking hard. Season Whatever, season dude. Season It'll matter. You know what I mean? Don't fucking come at me like that, dude. I've grown up, dude. I'm like 28 and 0 on the streets, dude. Just of Lemoore, dude. Don't That's fucking cool. not I'm talking about other places and shit. Fresno, Riverdale. I beat the fuck out of people almost in every town, dude. 
I'm outlawed out of fucking every fucking town around here, dude, besides my town. So whatever, he's gonna come over here and gonna get his ass beat too. Huh? Street, cage, whatever, man, anywhere. Don't matter. Right on. All right, Sergio, uh, we're gonna obviously check back in you when we get closer to the fire. Oh yeah, uh, man. Anybody you wanna shout out before I let you go, my man? Man, shout out to my homies right here, Chris Patalo, Hector, and my young little 16 year old friend, Swole Buck. He's about to buff his little kid you ever yeah. meet, dude. Recognize this chest up on top of you. Mm -hmm. Right here, give it a shout out to you. <laughs> right on, right on. Of course, right you know on. what I mean? Team Ochoa, toughest team in the valley. Talk shit about us, dude. That's what I heard. I heard this fool's talking shit about my team, so I'm gonna just have to fucking. I'm gonna have to fucking put the hurt on him, dude. Show him what's up. He won't be talking shit after a fight. That's for sure. All right, well, we'll have a full report, Sergio. We appreciate the time, brother. Thanks All a lot. All right, Mots, take it easy, man. Shout out to cageradio2.com. Right on. Thanks, brother. All right, man.